Good morning everyone and so today we're going to get started with a crock pot meal and here you can see I've diced up a sweet onion, a little bit of celery and some broccoli and it's funny my husband does not like celery at all but I can disguise it in some of these um, recipes that I make and he doesn't even know that he's eating it but yeah we're going to put a little celery in this. We're just going to throw all that into the crock pot with a box of organic chicken broth. My chicken broth came from Aldi. It's not really, this is really not necessarily a recipe. This is just something that I put together in a pinch. So I had about five or six uh, potatoes. I washed them. I cubed them up. I just put enough water on them to cover them. I boiled them just to soften them a bit because they would take the longest in the crock pot to get done. So I kind of wanted to give them a little bit of a head start. So I'm slowly kind of dipping out the potatoes and placing them into the crock pot because I did not feel like getting burnt pouring all of that in um, the crock pot out of the big pot into there but eventually I do get around to doing that as you can see here I am slowly pouring the remainder out along with the water now to this you can season this any way that you would like I did salt and pepper garlic a little bit of rosemary and thyme you can do whatever you want I added a half a stick of butter and placed the lid on there and I put it on low and we're just going to let this cook until everything is nice and soft. Now this might be a strange strange thing to show myself doing in this video but I am sharing real life. So this is Bigfoot and Bigfoot is being auctioned off this week at Cabo Wayne Association for the Blind. My father actually made him and he needs another coat of paint and who else had the paint but me that's right i was the holder of the paint so i got the job of painting bigfoot and so what you are seeing here is me just putting on a thin coat um, a secondary coat on one side you don't actually see me finish this in this video because this paint takes a really long time to dry so that's why I'm doing it first this morning, just giving it a nice coat. Um, and so I'm just taking my time because obviously I want this to be nice. By the time you see this, this will be auctioned off. And as of right now, it's at $130 last time I checked on the auction. So it is doing very, very well. And um, I know my dad was happy to do this and I was glad to um to be able to donate something to the auction because it goes to something that we definitely benefit from because if you don't know and welcome to my channel if you're new i am visually impaired and my husband is blind and we belong to an organization called cabo wayne association for the blind and yes so they offer transportation and all kinds of things and I will leave a link for them down below if you would like to check them out um, especially if you are somebody that would like to make a donation um, that would be wonderful so I'm going to finish up on the paint job here on I named him Leroy <laughs> so I'm painting Leroy here and I'm finishing his feet. I definitely hit all the edges around him just to make sure everything was covered. I love this paint. It's so shiny and it looks so clean when it goes on. And let me tell you, I, to be perfectly honest with you, I would rather be painting than cleaning. And if you are like me, um, you know, I'm going to do what I want to do, what I, you know, like the most fun thing in my day to do, which is usually cooking and something like this, something crafty diy isk kind of thing. But I am, I'm going to get this Bigfoot nice and coated. And um, I think it's the next day after I have painted him that he was picked up and taken down to 
um, the office for the auction. So now I am going to clean out my oven. I am using the, I guess, the dupe for the power paste. And this actually come from the Dollar Tree. And I got to say, it works phenomenally, phenomenally. And my husband says, you say that word too many times in your videos, but it does work that good. I would not make that up. I just kind of smear it on with my old scrub mommy and kind of put it in circles all over the place and let that sit for a while. And then I come back and if I have anything stuck on, one thing that really keeps my stove nice and clean is a razor blade. And now I'm going to tell you, if you decide to do this, please be careful. <laughs> please don't write me and tell me you lost your fingers or anything like that. Um, be careful if you're using a razor blade. So I'm using a razor blade. I'm going to scrape all off all the stuck on stuff and then I'm going to take a clean rag and wipe all of the debris and the soap off and the outcome is good. You will see that my oven does not clean to perfection but that is okay because I'm going to tell you it's never going to clean to perfection and completely spotless because I bake and I cook for real, so um, it is definitely a used stove, but um, I'm very grateful to have an oven and a stove that I can use, and uh, because I love to cook so much. I put a giant pot full of water on to boil and while I'm waiting for that I'm going to go ahead and mix up all of my ingredients in my kitchen aid for my challah bread. Now if you have never made challah bread I want you to know that I think that out of all breads this is the bread recipe for anybody who is a beginner bread maker. And I have a video here on my channel, and it is the Beginner's Guide to Hala Bread. I highly suggest you try it. If you are scared, don't be, because this is so easy. I am not a master baker by any means, but every time I make this bread, it comes out gorgeous. It actually looks like I know what I'm doing. And... Also, too, the other thing that is so great about this recipe is it's very common ingredients, and you can kind of play around with this and make it like you like, which you will see here in this video when I do make it. Um, sometimes I leave it plain on the outside, but sometimes I like to add sort of a garnish to it. And in this video, I am using the... Um, everything but the bagel seasoning, but I'm using the jalapeno one. And this this bread, oh my goodness, it tasted so good. I don't know if I was just extremely hungry, but I will tell you it was so good. So now I'm putting my bread into the oven. I get a lot of questions about this. It's going in the oven with the light on only. Do not turn your ovens on. Just turn the light on and it will be warm enough in there for your bread dough to rise. I am now taking out the garbage. I don't know why I'm filming myself taking out the garbage, but it is, I'm keeping it real for you guys. It's a real day. It is what I'm doing and I am taking out the trash. And I know some of you are going to ask me, what kind of trash bags do I use? <laughs> you guys ask me all kinds of questions. So... I buy my trash bags from Sam's. They are their generic brand and they are lavender scented. And one box lasts me an entire year. And I will always buy my trash bags that way because 
I know that it's going to last me. Now, you're probably wondering, why did I put that water on to boil? Well, here is the reason. I'm completely out of floor cleaner. So I'm going to use a gain pod in the bottom of my bucket, as you can see there. And then I'm going to add my boiling water to this. And I'm going to allow that pod to, you know, evaporate in there um, and get real good and foamy. And I am going to mop my kitchen. Now, I usually don't do this on top of the counter, but I'm doing this to show you because it was the easiest way to film that so you could see it. So obviously before I mop, I am going to sweep the floors and make sure that all the crumbs and little things on the floor are completely up. And then I'm going to use my O-Cedar Spin Mop. Now, you know, if you've been watching me a while, I clean my floors in different ways. But on this particular day, I felt like using the Spin Mop. Sometimes I will see other YouTubers clean and they use the spin mop and I'm like, I have one of those. That looks like so much fun. Yes, I know it's crazy, but this girl actually does like to clean. I do like, I like cleaning gadgets. You know that if you've been watching me for a while, I like to try different ways and different methods to clean. And I highly suggest the OCD or spin mop. Now you're probably going to ask me in the comment section, why didn't I just put the boiling water in the OCD or spin mop? Well, um, these are plastic and my water was boiling hot. And I got a little bit afraid that it might, mop, it might melt my good expensive mop bucket. And I did not want that. So I just put it in the other one and uh, it worked out fine. It worked out fine. But yeah, we got the floors mop. Now, I will tell you, I ran out of space on my camera here. And I apologize, but it did not get all my footage in here. But I am quickly mopping the dining room the same way I did the living room. Now, I'm also adding in some pillowcases. Um, I bought these from Big Lots. They were not real expensive, but ours were absolutely used. And so these were really soft. They seemed like very nice quality for the price. I thought the color was pretty. And so I opted to get a couple new packs of pillowcases. So we are gonna get that into the washing machine. I am using uh, Tide with Downy. It was on sale at Sam's. And if you've been watching me a while, you guys know that I don't usually buy detergent um, that way. But actually, it was such a good deal, I couldn't turn it up. Turn it up. Turn it back. Turn it. It's late, guys. Can you tell? I'm going to add some Downy, which isn't Downy. It's the Tandale brand, I think. It comes from Audi, the um, fabric softener. And now I am folding a load of laundry.
now my soup is nice and done. I'm going to add in a can of evaporated milk to this. You can also use heavy whipping cream if you want to. I am taking my fingers and breaking up a half of a log of Velveeta cheese. And I'm adding that in. And then I'm going to put the lid back on it and allow that to get good and melty. So my bread dough has risen. I braided it into a braid and then I let it rise again. As you can see here, it gets pretty big if you're not careful. I am brushing it with an egg wash and then this is when, when you can get creative. And I sprinkled my dough with the everything but the bagel seasoning, but this is the jalapeno one. If you don't like spicy, just use the regular. Look at what this looks like. I made this. It is beautiful, guys. It is beautiful. And I will tell you guys, Ronnie said, how would you describe eating this? And I said, it's like eating a baby angel. It was that good. It was so, so, so good. And here I am. You're supposed to let this cool before you cut it. But the way it smelled and the way it looked, I could not keep my knife out of it. And you're going to see me. I'm going to be cutting this. <laughs> I'm going to be cutting this and we're going to be eating this. This is this was so amazing, guys. Please tell me you try this. I know fall is not quite here, but this is the bread to bake for the first day of fall if you want to impress your family and your friends or just yourself because I could eat this whole loaf by myself. Can you see how beautiful that looks on the inside? It has a gorgeous crumb. And here I am. I'm showing you again me cutting this i absolutely love this bread i know i probably said that a million times in this video but listen i i would not lie to you all this is really good bread recipe i will link it down below if you want to check it out the full recipe and me making it i want to thank you so much for watching heidi's home i hope you all are having a great week um we are just trying to stay cool here it has been super hot there's my soup oh yum yum it was so good hit that subscribe button i'll be talking to you all again soon thanks so much for watching leave me a comment and i will be back again real soon bye guys